Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows, and destroy them. Send thine hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of great waters, from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psaltery, and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. I am delighted to know that many Israelites' knowledge has increased about the evil altars in the heathen's establishments. Israelites are evaluating their surroundings and making better decisions on where to spend their hard-earned money. When you follow Yah's instructions and serve your father in the spirit and in the truth, it will guarantee your victory. Remember, we have already won. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. The Most High is with us, and he will use whomever he please to sound the alarm. When Israelites everywhere understand that we are on a battlefield, your perception will change. You will begin to see your environment in a new way. When you know how to use the advantage you have in the Most High, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. We have to activate the great power dwelling in us. The scriptures reveal to us that our body is the temple that housed the spirit of the Most High. What? Know ye not? That your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? We have to utilize the great power, the most high place in us, to change our situations. We have to listen to our Elohim and follow his instructions. We can no longer battle our enemies in the flesh, especially when our enemies are not fighting us in the flesh. In order to defeat our enemies, we have to make sure we have the right target. Israelites, your target will always be the kingdom of darkness, not the flesh standing in front of you. The heathens is only carrying out the instructions of the kingdom of darkness. Just because the flesh standing in front of you is not your target, this do not conclude you should befriend the person the kingdom of darkness is using to oppress your life. Let me remind you, everything that is going to happen will take place in the spirit realm first. Once it happens in the spirit realm, it will manifest in the physical realm. If the person standing in front of you is an obstacle to your life, to gain victory, you must identify the spirit on the person that is attacking you. Once the thief has been identified, you attack the unclean spirit in the spirit realm. The scripture said the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Your enemies is not around you to befriend you and to love you. Many Israelites mistake the heathen's kindness for love. A thief intention is to rob you and to take advantage of you. A thief will examine their target and once the thief collect enough information on his target, the thief will strike. A lion roar after it catches its prey. Will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? The heathens are successful because they deceive you into believing they are with you. Israelites, when you are around your enemies, examine them. Some Israelites let their guard down around their enemies instead of testing their spirit. The enemy do not care about you and the heathens definitely will not assist you in destroying their kingdoms. You must fight back in the spirit. For example, some Israelites will accuse other Israelites of having the Jezebel spirit. Once they speak those words over the person, they begin to attack that person. You cannot attack a spirit in the flesh. That is Satan fighting Satan. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan cannot cast out Satan if he did how his kingdom could stand. Satan is the God of this world ruling with his people. There is no division in the kingdom of darkness. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Israelites, the heathens use the kingdom of darkness to reign over you. They will not help you overthrow their nations. Anything that has to do with the flesh comes from the kingdom of darkness. That is why the scriptures say you cannot please the most high in the flesh. So then, 
they that are in the flesh cannot please God. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. The flesh is an enemy to the spirit. If you attack the person instead of the spirit, you are in the flesh and the Most High is not with you. To gain victory, you have to attack the Jezebel spirit and rebuke the Jezebel spirit controlling your brethren. The same rules apply for any spirit controlling a person. Once that spirit flee, you will see a transformation in that person. Israelites, the heathens that use evil altars to maintain their dominance over you, they are not fighting you in the flesh. The heathens want your wealth and to rule over you. The heathens build altars to their idols and make their petition known to their idols. The heathens precisely follow their idols' instructions. Israelites, the heathens are committed to their idols. They will serve their idols and follow the idols' instructions without deviating. If the idol tell them to sacrifice their children, they will do it. The heathens obey their idols. If the heathens disobey their idols, they would not be ruling with the kingdom of darkness currently. Once the idol grant them their heart desire, they set up businesses in your communities to rob you senseless. This process is known as witchcraft, sorcery, religion, and many other names. As long as the kingdom of darkness continue to grant the heathens their heart desire, they will honor and serve their idols. The heathens can mistreat Israelites in their establishments and Israelites will continue to support them without a word. The reason Israelites continue to support their spirit is enslaved to the heathens altars. When your spirit is tied to an evil altar, the kingdom of darkness with the workers of iniquity is controlling you in the spirit realm. To the Israelites who cannot understand why our people continue to support the heathens' businesses after they mistreat them, many of our people's spirits are enslaved to evil altars. Fighting in the flesh will not deliver the Israelite spirits tied to evil altars. Boycotting and marching will not resolve the problems. Complaining will not help our situation. Fighting back in the spirit with the help of the Most High will deliver our people. The curses are not the cause to our downfall. Sin is the reason to our downfall. It is time that we listen to the Most High, follow his instructions to defeat our enemies. We must get rid of the defeated mindset. How can you win a battle if you already declare yourself the loser? Let the Most High renew your minds. I continue to see many Israelites commenting the curses from Deuteronomy 28 as the reason our enemies is ruling over us. To the Israelites that keep saying the curses are the reason the heathens are ruling over us, if you know the heathens are using sorcery to keep you down as a people, will you continue to interact with them? Are you going to shop at their stores to support them? One of the curses in Deuteronomy 28 said, we would worship gods made of wood and stones. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Are you going to worship gods made out of wood and stones now that you have the knowledge of who you are? If you continue to worship gods made out of wood and stones, are you not in sin? Are you not breaking the first commandment that said there should be no other gods before the Most High? The Most High said, if you do not keep his commandments, then the curses will come on you and overtake you. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If you are a righteous Israelite in the awakening and you are keeping the Most High's commandment, are you cursed? If you are a wicked Israelite, are you not cursed? Why would you use the curses as an excuse to why the heathens are oppressing your life? You are at the bottom because of sin. Sin brings forth the curses. The Israelites that are serious with their salvation will do everything they can to serve the most high in the spirit and in the truth. In addition, they will take heed to the knowledge received to strengthen their relationship with the most high. If you have made up your mind to serve the Most High, serve the Most High. Do not use the curses as an excuse and a stumbling block to other Israelites. 
The heathens do not make excuses to their idols. They simply follow the instructions of their idols. When Israelites begin to obey the Most High, then your change will come. Some Israelites are comfortable being at the bottom. That is why they do nothing to advance their communities. To the Israelites that want a change, you will have to go to battle. Spiritual warfare is not a game. Before you go to battle, you have to be equipped with the proper knowledge. You have to know what you want from the Most High. If you engage in spiritual warfare without wisdom, you put yourself at risk to further your demise. You have to know how the spirit realm operates. The kingdom of darkness dwell in the spirit realm. Satan will disguise himself as an angel of light to deceive you. His angels will do the same. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The workers of iniquity who have your spirit tied to evil altars know how the spirit realm operates. Israelites, it is important to seek the Most High and ask the Most High to teach you how the spirit realm operates. If you defeat your enemy in the spirit realm, your victory will manifest in the physical realm. This is why the workers of iniquity attack you in the spirit realm. The only way you'll be able to recognize who is attacking you, the Most High have to reveal the enemy. In addition, the workers of iniquity love to disguise themselves. They do not want their identity to be known. Your enemy is usually someone that is close to you. If the kingdom of darkness have your spirit bound in the spirit realm, the kingdom of darkness will have you enslaved in the physical realm. Most Israelites do not realize they are in slavery until this day. When you clock in to work at the heathens' establishments, you are in chains. The heathens control when you are paid and tax your income heavily. The heathens build businesses in your communities to collect the money you earn working for them. They mistreat you and they are not held accountable. This is slavery, Israelites. Your present conditions reveal your enemies have you bound in the spirit realm. Now you have to fight back in the spirit to be delivered. Spirits are disembodied. You cannot see them. In order to see the unclean spirits seeking a covenant, they have to take on the image or likeness of someone or an animal. Unclean spirits will take on the likeness of people you know to deceive you in the spirit realm. If you do not know how to decode the symbols or what to look for in the spirit realm, you will be deceived and be placed in bondage. When you build an altar to the Most High by praying, to the Israelites who want to know how to build an altar, praying is your altar. The Most High will hear your prayers and accept your sacrifice if you are walking uprightly with the Most High. Praying is communicating with the Most High. When you pray, you are either asking the Most High to intervene in your circumstances or making a request. If your spirit is tied to an evil altar, then you are asking the Most High to deliver you from the evil altar. After you pray an effective prayer, the Most High will respond via a dream or through a message. When Yah respond with a dream, He will show you what sin or what spirit hindering you. When Yah show you the sin and spirit hindering you in the spirit realm, you have to pray again. This time you will repent of the sin and pray against the specific spirit tormenting you. Remember, the kingdom of darkness motto is to steal, kill, and destroy. If the spirit of poverty is oppressing you, you have to rebuke that spirit. Send the fire of the Most High to the altar projecting the spirit at you. Fasting is your sacrifice and fasting supersize your prayer. Fasting bring the battle right at the enemy's door. This is why Israelites, you have to know what you're doing or else Satan would tempt you and place a stronghold on your life. Fasting reveal how serious you are with your requests. When you fast, your spirit becomes weak. When the flesh is weak, your spirit becomes dominant, giving the most high the ability to operate in you. Remember, the flesh is an enemy to the spirit. After you pray, the Most High will reveal to you if you are free from the bondage or the Most High will reveal if you need to continue to pray and fast. Depending on the hold the kingdom of darkness have on your life, a one day fast is not enough. You have to fast for several days or weeks. In addition, pray without ceasing. Because of the state we are in as a people, prayer and fasting is required until we are delivered collectively.
anything you need to know, the Most High will reveal it to you. If you are not aware of the altar or sin causing a separation between you and the Most High, repent and ask the Most High to cleanse you from every demonic food consumed and every evil covenant made. The Most High is faithful. He will deliver you. Spiritual warfare is an ongoing battle. Sometimes it would take one prayer to be delivered or it can take multiple prayers. If you're not sure where to purchase food or your daily essentials, ask the Most High and he will lead you to a business that do not have altars dedicated to idols. In order for the Most High to direct your steps, you have to take a step. Pray, then go to the store. If the Most High give you peace to shop at the establishment, then shop. Always remember to rebuke every covenant made daily. Spiritual warfare is a weapon your enemies use against you. You must learn how to battle and send the Most High to fight for you. Yah said the battle belongs to him. And he said, Hearken ye, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king, Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Our ancestors knew that in order for them to triumph and over their enemies, they need the Most High to fight for them. We have to stop trying to take matters into our own hands. For many generations, we have been battling our enemies independent of the Most High. You will never win the battle if you do not include the Most High. Fighting in the flesh will secure your defeat. If you can master spiritual warfare, your enemies will become your footstool. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? You will begin to see their businesses fail. When I was fired from my job, I did not fight back in the flesh. I fought in the spirit. The result, my accuser was fired and the company is no longer in business. The Most High will fight for the righteous. If you are an Israelite that lost hope and believe the kingdom of darkness run everything, ask the Most High to bless the righteous Israelite businesses serving him in the spirit and in the truth. When righteous Israelites' businesses grow, it will benefit our communities. You can also be involved by starting your own business. You can also support Israelite businesses that give back to the communities to better our children. In order for our change to come, we have to take a leap of faith. Trust the Most High. When two come into agreement, it shall be done. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Israelites, do you know that you have more victories than defeat? Never believe the outward appearance. The same way a covenant is made, you can be set free from an evil covenant. You are not bound for life. That is why it is important to engage in spiritual warfare. The Most High always make a way out. There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. It is over when the Most High say it is over. Every day that you wake up is another chance to make a difference. The kingdom of darkness want you to focus on failures. In addition, Satan do not want you to know that you were successful in breaking free from evil covenants. To know if you successfully break free from evil covenants, your dream life will increase. The reason your dreams would increase, the unclean spirits are trying to reestablish the old covenants. If you see a familiar spirit trying to win your trust in the spirit realm, that is the evil spirit way of establishing a covenant. When your trials and tribulation increase, the kingdom of darkness is trying to discourage you from breaking free from spiritual bondage. That is also a strategy the kingdom of darkness used to reestablish covenants. How many times have you seen a familiar spirit interacting with your spirit in the spirit realm? The Most High delivered you and you did not know. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Ancestral idols and old generational curses placed in your bloodline by a worker of iniquity in order to renew the covenant, they will use familiar faces to renew generational curses in the next generation.
They will take on the likeness of a deceased family member or the oldest living person in your family. Israelites, this is the kind of information you need to know. If you're going to fight back properly, you need wisdom. When you know how the spirit realm operate, your enemies can no longer intimidate you. This is why the synagogue of Satan work overtime to oppress Israelite channels and other channels that do not fall for their propaganda. If you can understand what the Most High is revealing to you in this message, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Most High. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. I declare this day forward that every Israelite would take the battle to the enemy's door. You will no longer fight in the flesh. You will trust your Elohim, for he is with you. Yah promise to never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong, and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Let every evil altar speaking against the Israelites be consumed and destroyed by fire. Let every personal belongings of any Israelite that is on any evil altar catch fire and destroy the wicked altar. Let every idol that has taken the Most High's position in the heart of his people be dethroned. Father, let your wrath dash every idol into pieces. Rain your judgment upon them before their time and cast them into the lake of fire. Do as your words say, blot them out and return their evil deeds back upon their own heads. Let every establishment that has taken the wealth of your people go bankrupt. Father, the thieves have been identified. I commend my sevenfold plus the substance in their house. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. The Most High said, Israelites, to come boldly before his throne. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Israelites, it is time that you fight back. Who knows if you were placed in this generation at such a time as this. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this?